Lego has just announced the newest Lord of the Rings Lego set, and it is Rivendell. It's so awesome. It comes with 15 minifigures, and amongst those minifigures are the full Fellowship of the Ring. And the Fellowship and all the other minifigures have been updated, so I wanted to compare these old figures to the new ones. Lego gave us this awesome carousel with all the minifigures. We're gonna start off with Frodo Baggins. Frodo is the main hobbit, the main character. And the biggest difference that we can see is Frodo now has dual molded legs. And if we take a look, I thought the hobbits definitely needed some dual molded legs. So I had bought in some of these Dobby legs before and they did not fit too well. And then I also, had found someone that was selling these custom dual molded legs and those I put on the minifigures like I swapped out for Frodo before and it didn't work because if you can tell the biggest difference between these legs is there's the actual short legs and then the short bendable legs which are a little bit taller than the short legs and I thought the hobbits definitely needed the actual short legs and then we can see this new Lego set actually has dual molded short legs for the hobbits. So that's gonna make these hobbits look a million times better. Next off is Bilbo. And we had a few renditions of Bilbo, but they were all younger versions of him. But now we finally have Bilbo as an old hobbit, which is very fitting because that's the way he was when he was at Rivendell in the Lord of the Rings. And then we have Boromir. One of the biggest differences is you can see a difference between his shield. So this old one had, was just kind of that flat print and this new one's one of those actual new domed ones. And then his sword is very much more accurate to the movie because his old sword used to be just the classic Lego sword. And I'm sure one of the biggest differences of these new figures are the print quality is just gonna be a little bit better and a little bit more refined. And then we have Elrond which both look very similar, but the biggest difference is that this new Elrond has a cloak. It looks like Elrond's gonna have the same sort of legs that Dumbledore has. So it's these new sort of robe pieces that are not so easily fallen off. Like the old figures could just pop off because they just used a brick and printed onto it. But these new ones are actual leg pieces with the same attachments that normal legs have. The old Elrond had this awesome dual colored cape but it appears the new one will not have that. And then we have Arwen, who's getting a complete makeover. She's gonna have a white cloak, and then this hair piece is also new. It's a little bit more refined. And then I think it's just feel awesome because we'll have two alternate versions of Arwen. And Aragorn will also be in a completely new outfit. So this outfit will be awesome because it's the outfit he was in while he was actually inside and attending Rivendell Council. I also will note that this Aragorn did not come with the black cape, but I just added it to him to make him look more ranger-esque. First off with Gimli, we can see his axes are gonna be completely new. His old ones were just axe pieces like the classic old castle, but these new ones are actual new pieces, like completely 100% new. And then also Gimli's gonna happen to have these legs that are made for bending for short people. So I think that's gonna be perfect because that's the height I would have given Gimli. And then we have Merry and Pippin. And the crazy thing is on the Lego site, it's gonna confuse so many people because it says Merry Doc and Peregrine. And Pippin is in the blue cloak and Merry is in the green cloak. So it's a little bit throwing you off. So it's actually in the picture order, it's Pippin and then Merry, but it says Merry and Pippin, so crazy enough. But here is what they look like in the old 2012 version. And then my biggest complaint about these minifigures were they both were quite sad looking in their minifigure form. So I'm super happy that the new figures have an element of happiness because Merry and Pippin were some of the most cheerful characters of the whole trilogy. And now for Gandalf, you can see that he also has these special new robes which will be awesome. And the best part is he has printing on them, which adds such an element and makes him feel so much more complete than the Gandalf with the movable legs. And then next off we have Sam, who is in a new outfit as well. So currently we only have his traveling outfit, but now we'll have a good relaxed 
Shire or Rivendell Samwise, which is great. And then lastly, we have Legolas, which I personally think I like my Legolas more. But the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to have to upgrade this Legolas to give him these new dual molded legs. And just so you know, what dual molded means is it has two different colors. So see how Spider-Man has blue and red, and then it's like actually two different plastics. It's not painted on or printed on. It's two whole different plastics. So then we can see that Legolas is going to have those same dual molded legs, which is awesome. It's going to make him look like he's actually wearing some boots. For some reason, I think this new hairstyle, it yes, is more accurate to what he was like most of the time, but it feels a little bit off, but I, I like them both. But the biggest thing is that you can't put a quiver on them. And just so you know, this is what Legolas looked like from the original Lego theme. So he did not have a quiver, which to get a quiver, I shaved off the other quiver so that it fit his hair and I also gave him a cape. So as soon as I can give him the dual molded legs, I think this Legolas figure will be the best there ever was. And that is all the notable characters that are coming in the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set. And it does come with a few extra elves, which is awesome, and Gloin, which we do have as a figure. So I'm going to have to do this video again when I have the actual figures in hand to do actual side-by-side -side comparisons of the figures. So stick around for that. And in the meantime, check out this other LEGO video. Thank you for watching. You are awesome.